Hi guys, uh, thanks again for joining us at RS Aquaculture. Do like and subscribe if you like our content. So today we're just going to show you a case whereby you have going to have calcification on UV lamps and what actually happened. So in the previous uh, one month, uh, we have been putting one of these UV lamps into our system just before the main UV reactor. So as you can see, after putting it for a month, it formed what we call calcification on the UV lamp. So you can see this calcification is pretty hard to remove. You can't even remove them just by simply using a cloth and it's proving very stubborn kind of deposition. And why is this important? It's essentially because once there's calcification in your UV lamp, it reduces what we call UV transmittance. And in essence, if your UV transmittance is low, there is almost no point running this because the UV light is not being penetrated into the water. It doesn't cure off anything. So one way to clean off your calcification on a UV light is to use acid. You could use vinegar or stronger acid. In our case, we are utilizing hydrochloric acid at about 6 molar concentration. So as you can see that it doesn't melt off the glass, but instead it's able to remove some of the calcification that we see here. So uh, calcium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid to form carbon dioxide and water. So this is what you get. It doesn't react with the glass lining. So this is how we've been cleaning our UV reactor. And take note that if everything goes well, this is the kind of results in terms of CFU count that you should be getting. We are getting about 10 to 15 CFU per ml, which is relatively low. So if you're not doing this properly, you will see a very high bacterial count in your recirculating aquaculture system. So that's all for today. We hope you enjoy.